A bit about yourself for those who don't know. You weren't born in Ireland, isn't that right? No, yeah. Uh, yeah. Where were you born and how did that happen? Born in Tiberias, Israel. Israel. Um, yeah, yeah. I came across, I've, I've moved in house and I came across recently of um, my birth cert, which is a little bit different than the normal one. It's for when you're born ab uh, abroad with sure. uh, Defence Forces. My dad was there with uh, the UN. I think it was his uh, third tour and I was the result of... Being out there, yes. yeah, on your yeah. third time. But you weren't there for too long, where you? you were quickly. No, I think I think I, was, I think we were home before I was. I, I could have been maybe one or um, one or two. And then was it was home. all about Kildare and yeah, Nice, nice. And, and that's where it's uh, where it all began, really. For yeah, my, my brothers, I, they played in the Curra, and um, they're they're ten and twelve years older than me. So uh, you know, it's a case of monkey see, monkey do. I just followed them, and, yeah. and they played rugby. So that's what I wanted to do. Want to be my big brothers, and uh, started playing in Nice. At, age of eight or nine. And, and when, when did it stop being just a, a bit of sport at school and become an ambition to be something big and better? It, 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 was it, it always it, that? It's it always that. Was I mean, it? you yeah, could probably ask, like, guys in the room, change room tomorrow, like Gary Ringrose, are probably, uh, probably more mentally mature than me at times. Um, but it, it was always fun. It was always an ambition. Uh, I, I distinctly remember running around trying to be Simon Gagan in my folks' right. house. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm and, and wishing to play, yeah. uh, you know, in, in the old Lansdowne Road at the time. Yeah. Um, but loads of kids do that. And, yeah. And few yeah. get to the levels you get to. So what, what, what was the, the transition? When did it become a reality in terms of a dream? Oh, I, I mean, I was lucky. My, my brother Graham was one of the first people to go professional with Connacht right. um, back in the 90s. Mm -hmm. And so I, uh, I was in, I was, what age was I? I was just going into secondary school at the time then. So I, I, I saw that it was a possibility, it was a potential career path that you could go. But you never really yeah. knew, like I still went, you know, finished school, went to college, um, was looking at masters and stuff yeah. like that when I was in college. Um, but then I got up my third year of um, rugby, I got offered two different contracts to go, one to Ulster, one to Leinster. And, um, and off you went. Well, no, I said no. Uh, to talk, well. My dad said no for me. Yeah. <laughs> Did he? Yeah, yeah. And I still, like, I was still scared of my dad back then. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I said no and, and um, finished college. And then, luckily, like, he was like, said, if you're, if you're good enough, there'll be one when you finish college. So there was, thank God.